they threw a bunch of sand on the roads. And the sun came out a little bit. The sun would come out, a lot of the stuff would melt. Yeah. Got his templates with their station work on them and show, show it off to me. I said, Well, he's in settings, you should put it in. Yeah, and he got it all dialed in. And, uh, I was watching his weather station last night, his temperature was the same temperature as us. I was like, He's 1500 miles to the south of us, yeah. the temperature's exactly the same at night. And I was like, Wow, that's not usual. Yeah, like in Huntsville, Alabama. Well, normally we're cold, yeah, we're, but uh -huh. we're not so. Well, they got they got those they had tornadoes the other day. Yeah, yeah. That cold front passed through. Yeah. I was like, well, yeah, that uh, yeah. Big time stuff. Here. Yeah. Oh, I don't know if you've seen the yeah. I don't know if you've seen the video. Uh, I think it was in Tennessee. I think outside of Memphis, I think. This tornado went through a power substation, blew the substation. Like it must have been a big suspect substation when it blew, because it like. Big red arc and a fireball, and a big fireball, yes. and all the power in the area went out. Yep. It was like you can see the normal it is it was going through power lines, snapping power lines and stuff, mm -hmm. the blue arcs and everything else. Yep. It, it and it hit this power station and it just it lit up the sky. Well, yeah, there's a good way to big. Take it down. I mean, the fireball probably you shot get, up get 200 these, feet or all more. These foreign agent actors in here that can be sleeper cells that can don't even need that. We got a tornado to do that for us. I was like, whoa. Even the storm chasers were like, no, whoa. We're in UHF. Let's try to go down the line. So. I got to show you that video if you haven't seen it. It's just, it is crazy. Back to the 9 so. Video is soothing. I'm like soothing? Yeah, uh, I didn't understand it either. Is that one when we drove out to? Yeah. Out to, Wonder, out to Spartan Arms. Yeah. I'm not gonna argue with perfection. <laughs> I don't know. I think some of them are just um, amazed I'm shooting an AKP. I think. Yeah. Although that that setting that I had that camera in, you don't use no mode too. And on on the Ace Pro, don't use it. Terrible. Well, you learn. Terrible for what you learn. You learn. You learn. Nothing like over contrast, over brightened, and more than snow messed it up. Then. No, the setting I think messed it up. It oh. wasn't the snow. It, uh, it, it's it was supposed to be in it's supposed to be used in a uh, well lit uh, snow mode, but I think maybe it wasn't well lit enough or something. Uh, it could be because of I don't know. It, it was just or... overblown the contrast oh. and brightness. I was like, whoa! Well, how do we learn? Yeah, by doing. <laughs> Capri Dia. Oh, that's a hotel chain. Seize the day. Yeah, okay. Is that what it says? Uh, I think so. That's Spanish or something? Yeah, I think so. Or you can do car carpe ductum. Seize I'm the gonna team. Have to, gonna Seize have to. the team. Uh, I'm going to uh, have to start learning some Spanish, it seems like. Uh -huh. things are going. I was in Walmart the other day. Uh -huh. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's for the Hampton. No, 
that part I saw, but I didn't understand Perfect. the car being seized yeah. the day. I don't, I don't, I don't know a lot of Spanish. I know a, a few things because a few people are from New Orleans and they, the whole French, uh, French, yeah, well, yeah, yeah. French, it's, it's you know. Different. They all talk weird down there. You bet. Yeah, yeah, yes, Billy Bob. Yeah. Maybe if I'd have worn my hearing aid here, I would have thawed it out again. The, <laughs> the blow dryer ain't getting it done, so I'm going to have oh. to take it into the hearing aid dealer and see if I still have a uh, VA credit with them to look at yeah. it or whether I'm going to send it back to the VA. Get, get the new pro models. No, you got to play their game. Of course you So I got my old hearing aids in, uh -huh. which didn't want to start. They hadn't been used so long that uh -huh. they finally decided to work. So uh -huh. They're working. That's not, that's not. Well, it's better than donut. Yep. Everything, yeah, right now. everything. He's had all kinds of stuff. Got, Every issue. Got to text him back to see how he's doing. Yeah. BX and Jerry and Ralph and I. So we got a guy testing for the oh. Who's coming in? We're coming out. out. Delta. Yeah. Oh, Delta. Okay. The Legion's there, and that's Delta just pulling in. No, that's. Well, there's another bird behind him. Oh, what the heck? Oh. Or am I miss seeing that plane? I'm maybe okay. seeing, thinking I'm seeing two, and there's only mm -hmm. one there. Maybe. Find out here in a minute when he makes his turn all the way into the. Gets into the gate there. Oh. Looks like it. I don't think we feel like it's in here. 
I'm going to assume I was just misreading the wing that there was another aircraft out there. Yeah, there's nothing else out there. Yeah, just a bit there. Better than my aspirin. back pain uh, because it's an anti-inflammatory. Okay, I wonder if I could take that with my other stuff. Uh, maybe it's only it's only like 220 milligrams. I'd have to talk to the quack. Oh, yeah, I would talk to your doctor. Yeah. She said Tylenol. Well, it does help. Mm -hmm. But I try not to use Tylenol ever, mm -hmm. just because I'm taking this twice a day. Well, it's like the it's it's kind of like an aspirin. It's like an NSAID pill. It's kind of like an aspirin, but not as. It's more about trying to reduce the inflammation. Well, that's what the, I. Uh, that's what I need. The painkiller part of it. That's what I need sometimes. To yeah. Get the, that was one of the things about aspirin. It was half nice, as it did that to some degree. Yeah, a little bit. Um, well, for the longest time, that's all there was. Well, yeah. I mean, I have those industrial strength, oh, a few of those industrial strength ones that are yeah. from the doctor, the 12 hours. Yeah. Um, and they're lower, they're lower dosage, but they're... Rough on your system. No, they're, they're just, I don't know, it's just through the medical grade stuff yeah. that they gave for my back. Yeah. And I think they, they work really good. Yeah. The Aleve is supposed to be sort of like those, because they're supposed to last 12 hours. Mm -hmm. But the, I mean the, yeah, the Aleve stuff is 12 hours. The Advil stuff is only six hours. Okay. So it's kind of like an aspirin. They both kind of work. Well, they work on they work on two different, different variances of uh, of, uh, of uh, anti-inflammatory. Technically, you're supposed to take the Aleve if you've got like a uh, long-term chronic pain yeah. thing, versus the Advil. Advil is supposed to be for the more of the Short term, get it, get it knocked but I'm down. not taking it every day yeah, either. Yeah, yeah. At most, I might take two Advil a day. No, it looks like you might be making this an apartment complex because look at all the gas meters Maybe. you put in there. You got three rows Maybe. of gas meters. Usually, I'm just it's an it's a, an aspirin or two a day or maybe three. Anything on pain holes. Yeah. I think we must have to take a look at this. 
Does this does yeah, make Bill? sense that? No. Oh, yeah. it's a, it was a church. Got yeah, I know it's a church, but, but they got that many gas meters. I wonder if it's turning into apartments or something. Could be. Because it has that look. Yeah, they broke it. One of the new windows is broken. Weird. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's what it looks like. I thought we'd take a look. Don't, don't ask me. Barry Hill's old house. What the heck did they do? I don't understand. I don't know why they take stuff like that. Doesn't make sense to me. Yeah, but you know, if they are turning it in, well, that's a lot of meters. That's what I'm saying. Is it I mean, like it's it must possible, be a, yeah. must be apartments because look at all the. Yeah, I'm yeah. up my guess probably. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. Yeah. That's for air conditioning. So yeah, they're making an apartment. Yeah. That's why they get individual gas meters and electric meters. Let's see, that's what they're doing. Parking lot's big enough. Yeah. Oh, no audio. Who's ever trying? That's your computer. same kind of thing that you're receiving too. I don't know if it was the uh, glitch that's normally happening or if it's uh, if it was somebody. But yeah, you're coming in just fine. You're just chopping in and out, Jeff. Yeah, they're, they're messing with the antennas. They got split antennas going on right now on the repeater, so. Okay, just thought I'd let you know. I don't know if Jerry's gonna try something different today or not. Okay, well, we're down in the valley uh, next to the uh, library right now, so it might be because of our signal there, but uh, yeah, I heard you're coming in just fine. in the truck. Uh, we're just going by Jim Hill School right now. He was, yeah. You're not that far away from the repeater. I'm, I'm on the back road here. on out by Farstead's out to the shop here. So. Okay, well, you got better once you got up top the hill, but yeah, receive is... 
QSL, you're coming in full quieting the whole time, so. Yeah, he's doing his official stop. <laughs> he's still got problems. Yep. from the 401k yeah. today and need to go in that and move it and put it on the other stock. Yep, yep, yep. Anyhow, I need to go to the bank today. So. Yep. Have them check on the area gates too. Yeah. Oh, I gotta go on. That's right. I gotta go online. I gotta check to see if those two maps are in the It's totally spaced out. I think whoever buys the tower would want to keep as many people on it as they can. Of course, yeah, paying pay, people probably. You might have to pay, and then will they yeah. let you climb it? That's the next Well, question. that's, yeah, who knows? You know, so that, we may mm -hmm. end up moving everything to the club station. Just depends who buys it. If it's Verizon who buys it? Or? Yeah, well, you know, I don't know. I think it would be inclined for Verizon to keep, keep it, to buy it, because they already have all their stuff on there. Well, I don't know if they want to be tied up with maintaining all those towers or not. Oh. Yeah, he said he thought SRT was going to go out of business eventually. Wow. And that would be really sad. That would be interesting. Oh, the kids are playing. It's snowballs. I was trying to figure out what this was over here. They got their snow forts going on. Yeah. There's not enough snow oil. No, no. Working not on the it. ones we did. We had big ones. Yeah, but there wasn't, like you said, there wasn't hardly any snow. But they were yeah, we, we, we had a lot more snow. <laughs> they can do it with what they got. Yeah. Get some out of the house, out of the classroom. We need to build some big ones and then yeah. tunnels and Back rooms and other things. We had more snow, though. Of course, I was also a lot smaller, too. Yeah. But I was way smaller. <laughs> yeah. Just to put you up on my shoulders at the state fair. Mm -hmm. That last time yeah, I got you down, that was that was it. That was the end of that. That's too much. Yeah. Back in the day. Every once in a while they have these things online they ask. If you could go back to your childhood of your time period, but retain all the information you have now. Would you go back and I said, in a heartbeat? Would you give up all your technology and all your stuff to go back? Yes! Well, I give up all this modern junk to go back. Times were a lot simpler. Yeah, and of course, if I retain all my knowledge, I could invest in. Well, not, <laughs> I would, I would, I would insist. I would invest it in Bitcoin big time. <laughs> I would have, I would have gone back instead of taking public speaking. I would have Oop. taken. Advanced public speaking, I would have taken uh -huh. more English. Oh yeah, I, 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 I wouldn't have. I wouldn't take. I don't think I would have took computers. Uh, I would have as, as much as as much as it, little it really I would did. Have taken a lot more writing and English. Uh, I, would, and, I would have taken like construction or mechanics, something you get a job and, in. Yeah, and calculus would have helped too. And they they all lied to us and said, "Well, computers are the wave of the future." Yeah, yeah well, they were for that little short little, little time window. window. Yeah. No, they're not so much. And that short little time window ended in. Not, Not so, so much anymore. Nope. For a while they were. Yeah, there was that little time window where you could have gone to college and then got out and got a good job with the computer. Now it's 
There's air. So much there, harder there. now. And there's so few slots. Oh, well, there were so few slots even at the end of the time I got out, yeah. too. Yeah. Learned a lot at Menards. Uh, not at Menards. Well, learned some stuff at Menards. Learned a lot at I would at, never uh, roll it back Sykes. the way I did it. Yeah, well, I would totally change those something else. Yeah. Well, yeah, building trades would have been smart. I think mechanic or diesel mechanic would have been the way to go, especially with the way the oil stuff things were going. Is heavy. Well, yes. That's, and and uh, Ken's son is a licensed diesel mechanic, but he was working on something and it took his back out. So oh, yeah, yeah, I know. So he was working on airplanes for a while. Mm -hmm. um, but that kind of went away. Mm -hmm. I don't know what he's doing now. But, but he was, well, even building for, for a while, building would have, wouldn't have been a bad thing. Yeah. You know, back when I was young. Well, even and the back didn't hurt. Even if you switch <laughs> to a different field later on, the knowledge, yeah, so you could fix your own house or something like that. Yeah, you know, mechanical knowledge, you know. Mm -hmm. But <coughs> working on cars now is crazy. Well, it depends. Yeah, I know. I, I remember, I remember when they, I remember when they around. came to high school and they, they were taught being an engineer on a train, oh, yeah. and I was like, you know, it was interesting <laughs> at, at first, and then it showed us how many books as of for it was. I was like, my network engineering book is smaller than this. Yeah, well, there's a lot. And it was a thousand pages for the network engineering book. Yes. And it was smaller. I mean, I think the EMT manual was less pages than the than the railroad yeah. engineer one. I was like, good God. No, I don't want to go to this. Nope, 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 nope. If I'd have stayed in radar, things have been different. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I wouldn't be here. Uh, probably, probably not. Then. No, I don't think I would have met your mom. Yeah. Pretty slim possibilities there. Well, no, I probably would have, I probably would have existed. There's just been different. I don't know. I'm not. I'm not sitting on the high table. Mm -hmm. I know. The diesel 360 volt. Yeah, it's come down. Surprisingly. Wow. It was 3.99. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, it was five bucks not that long. Yeah, like a, like two years ago. Got a green light, please use it. Thank you. We can see the other person. I don't blame you. But when you got all them turning left, you got pretty secure. Yeah, we're going to get rid of those bags. The only side was sitting across the no. street there, keeping an eye on stuff. That's good. I got dash cam footage in 8K. 